Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you could tell by the title, I'm getting ready to, well, this is me going through the process of getting my very own scooter. That's my first vehicle, but yes, this is me going through this process. And before I get the scooter, I had to get a helmet. So I ordered the helmet and I was just told that it's arrived. So I'm going to go collect it right now. By the way, um, getting my scooter, obviously, I didn't just, I can't just haphazardly get a scooter over here. So I had to take the driving exam and get a license the legal way. Yes, I was successful. And now I'm at the point where I'm getting the scooter. So follow me along as we go get this helmet and then the scooter later on in this vlog. So we just made it to the 7-Eleven that we will be collecting the um, helmet at. This is what the 7-Eleven looks like. Typically they drop it off whatever you order they will drop it off at one of these um well supermarkets or whatever you want to call it that's where we're at right now let's go get that package that's for contact tracing so i have to scan here and if i were to get covid it will let the People know which stores that I entered. But that's inside of the store, inside the 7-Eleven. So I'm just going to take the line. Okay. Get in the tracking number and we should be all good. Hello. I'm here to get this package. Yay! Oh my gosh, my package. I'm so excited to open up that helmet. There it is. Okay. Ooh, we have our package. So, we're about to do our unboxing. First things first, like, um, let me show you that. <laughs> what happened to the box? Hey, hey. Why the box looking as if it go through how many things? As if it's like a recycled box. What is the meaning of this? open here I'm realizing there is a black bag in which the helmet is encased Ooh, and there's my helmet the rainbow of lens and it has another ah! y'all 10 out of 10 it was worth it it was worth my money so it is currently another day of scooter transactions and it is right now it's so time almost nine o'clock in the evening and i'm about to meet with one of the sellers that i've contacted it's a lot easier for students to get a second-hand scooter so that's what i would be doing which is why i'm contacting sellers and having to test out the bikes just to make sure that it's fine and it's actually what i want <laughs> Oh, 
So after doing the physical check, like looking at the outside of the bike, I decided to take it for a test drive. So I just went along the stretch. I didn't go very far, just mainly to check out the brakes, um, the lights, the indicators, see if, if everything was working, and just to see how smoothly the bike actually drove. So it is another day of scooter transactions and I really hope that it's the last. Today I'm about to take the bike that we saw the last time to a mechanic because there's only so much that I could tell like you know if it's actually good just to get the oil checked and the brakes and everything else and make sure that it's actually good and um, yeah see if I want this scooter or not. I was supposed to meet with another seller today as well but then circumstances beyond their control I wasn't able to happen so right now I'm just going to take this one to the mechanic and we'll see what happens. So after checking out the foil and you know giving it a test drive, turns out everything was good with the bike. So I'm getting this one. Yes, I'm getting this bike. Ah, so exciting! Finally, I've been waiting for this one so long. Today is finally the day that I've been waiting for. Oh my goodness! I'm on my way to go get my bike. Ah, excited. Ah, I cannot see how much I'm excited. So you all know that I decided to get the one that I took to the mechanic um, since I was told that everything is okay with it and everything you know I feel a lot more comfortable taking that bike so I'm just about to go meet the guy that I'm buying the bike from and do whatever transfers need to be done and the bike is mine